You know, with a few easy fixes, automakers could pretty much get rid of these problems with unintended acceleration and protect themselves from future lawsuits. They're not going to get rid of it entirely because it is caused mostly by human error. I know that's an unpopular view, but after, after exhaustive tests, no automaker, not NHTSA, not any of the suppliers who make these systems, no independent laboratories or any academics have ever been able to find them. Never. And I'm here to tell you they never will because they don't exist. We saw the same thing happen 25 years ago when Audi went through the same unintended acceleration hysteria. Everyone was positive there was some defect in the cars, but exhaustive testing proved it was simply driver error, or what NHTSA calls pedal misapplication. And that calls for a simple design fix. All you have to do is provide a bigger gap between the gas and brake pedals. Today, most cars have a two to three inch gap. It has to be widened. Research will show how big a gap it should be so drivers won't mistakenly hit the gas, especially if they have big feet or are wearing winter boots. The difference in the planes between the two pedals also has to be increased. Again, most cars have a two to three inch difference in the planes. By increasing that, drivers will know simply by how much they have to bend their knee to put their foot on the brake, which pedal they're pressing. In addition, all cars need to be fitted with a brake override system where the engine drops to idle if it is wide open and the driver applies the brakes. Many cars already have this feature, but they all need them. And all cars need to be fitted with black boxes so that it's easy to reconstruct what caused an accident. And automakers need to design these black boxes to identify when the gas pedal is pushed down by the driver. I don't mean capturing the signal to the electronic throttle control. I mean capturing when the driver physically pushes down on the pedal. This will give automakers the proof they need when drivers simply make a mistake or conversely, if I'm wrong, it could give drivers the evidence they need to prove the car ran out of control on its own. But I'm confident this will prove that driver error is at the heart of the problem. After all, it is an issue that has been around for decades and one that affects almost all models from all automakers.